Tristan, I, I know you probably had to be checking out that Benavides plant fight. Uh, what yeah. do you think of that? It was a good fight. Um, I feel like if Plant would have, you know, kept that same that same pace he had, at least till like round eight, I feel like he could have won the fight. Right. But you know, Benavides, he was real smart. You know, he uh, he's like he was stalking him the whole fight, just wait until he would he would he would break down mentally, and you know he he made it easier for himself. You know what I'm saying? But. It was a good fight. I say it was fight of the year. Fight of the year. Yeah, okay, great stuff. What about fight. Benavidez's future? They, some people are talking maybe the PBC route of guys like Andrade, Morel, Charlo. Yeah. But what about Canelo? I mean, where do you think he goes? Can he beat Canelo? I mean, all that. I think it'll be. I think it'll be a very interesting matchup. Um, I know Canelo. He's probably not gonna. He's not gonna run because you know he has power. So I think it'll be a different fight. I, I would like to see like. Uh, how Benny, how Benny did is, uh, how he would react to Canelo's power. Yeah. But um, I know uh, uh, Benny Vida is like a, he's like a weight bully. You know, he cuts all that weight, and he's strong. He's wirely strong. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be an interesting matchup. Thunderstorm Bruin, my man Kevin Johnson. Uh, how you up, doing, though? baby? How you doing? How's life? Good man, I've been good. Got you. Uh, yeah. Caleb Plant, Dave Benavidez put on a real good show. What you think of that? That was a hell of a good fight. Hell of a good fight. You know what I mean? I feel like. Um, Plant was out boxing him from, from one through six, but after he got tired, and like, but one thing impressed me about Caleb is that, is that um, he showed he showed heart. He showed heart. He showed that he's not giving up. You know what I mean? But man, the monster is a different beast, bro. I'm telling you, the monster is a different beast. He just he knew he had a game plan. He went and he fulfilled it. Gotcha. What about his future, David's future? The monster can the monster beat Canelo? I don't think he'd be. I don't think he would be Canelo. Canelo's on a whole different level. Um, what what David showed against Plant that he could be out box. You know what I mean? He could be out box. And now with uh, Canelo, Canelo, you know, hot box. And not only that, Canelo has heart. He, he will go. To, he will come to you. He will put his face in the fire and come to you. So now I can't wait to this. If this matchup is is made. I got Canelo, man. Okay. Sean Brewer, what's good? What's good? Yeah. Caleb playing it. David Benavidez, a wild, great fight. What do you think of that matchup? Man, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody won. You know, and, that, and with that fight, uh, I was rooting for Caleb. He was winning in the beginning. I knew it was just going to be tough to, you know, box on 12 rounds like that. It's hard, especially yeah. when you touch a fighter and you come forward, walk through everything you throw. So, it was, it was a good fight. What about um, the what's next for Benavidez? He wants Canelo. Will we see that fight? I want to see that. I want to see that. I mean, I think he, he definitely earned it, deserved it. So, that should definitely be next. You know, if anybody else is in the mix, then, you know, he could. I don't know. They, they always talk about Charlo and, you know, them fighters like that. But that yeah. Canelo Benavidez. Is next. Who would you favor in that one? With Canelo Benavidez? Yeah. I have, to, uh, I have to go with Canelo. I feel like Canelo would. Would uh, capitalize off of um, a lot of Benavidez's mistakes. Got you. They are talking Benavidez against guys like uh, Demetrius Andre, um, Morel, and Charlo. What about those guys? Man, it'd be one of those situations similar to, to Caleb Plants, how you got to deal with that pressure. And, you know, have good legs, have good feet for a whole 12 rounds. And, Box and you know, make them respect your power. Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, excellent scrap. What do you think of the fight? I think people um, underestimate, underestimated Plant. I think he did a great job. I think um, staying strong throughout the 12 is very important. But I think Caleb did better than most people thought he did. And I give him a lot of credit. He earns David respect. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So you know he really put on a good scrap. What about David's future where he goes from here? Canelo David, or other guys? Uh, I think he needs to go a couple other guys. I don't think Canelo's going to take that fight. Because if Canelo take that fight, he's passing on a torch from one Mexican star to another Mexican star. So if, until he's ready to pass on that torch, I think he's going to fight him. Really? David Benavidez, Caleb Plant. What do you think of that one? That was a good event. Um, I knew Caleb was going to be, be strong. Uh, he did really well in the like, first four rounds. And I knew uh, then, uh, Benavides would start picking it up, start picking up the pace. And I was telling you know, Sean, we, me and Sean was watching the fight together. Uh, I knew he was picking up the pace little by little. He just broke him down. He broke him down and did what he had to do. 
And um, I'm surprised he, I was um, proud of Caleb Plant just um, taking the, the, the beating that he actually took. Yeah. That he took, but he did a really good job. He fought back and he fought like a warrior and nothing wrong with uh, the losing. Benavides and Canelo. What about that matchup? That would be a good fight. Um, I didn't really like uh, Canelo's last fight when he did with Triple G. I, I, be, I felt like he was a bit slow, slower than usual. And, um, but don't get me wrong, I still like that power. Um, with Benavides, Benavides is still young. I feel like with that Caleb Plant fight, there, he's, he's going to boost up his uh, confidence, especially when um, like he was, I feel like he was a little, uh, a little uh, nervous in the beginning. Then he started getting his rhythm back. So I feel like uh, with Canelo, he's going to do way better, way better. But I still, I'm a big Canelo fan, so gotcha. I, I'm, I'm rolling with Canelo. Benavidez was an interesting. Can you break down what yeah, you saw? I was at the fight, actually. I was yeah. at the fight, and I like him. Yeah. I really wanted him to do what he did in the first five, six rounds. Yeah. I thought he could get it going. But Benavidez got stronger at the end of the fight. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, but there's no loser in that fight. No 15, that fight. Coach. Would you rather see Benavidez face guys like Charlo and Andrade or Canelo? What, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think oh, he should he actually could. maybe fight the Charlos first. Okay. Um, that way he knows where he's at before he steps up to, to go with them. How do you think he does against the pool guys? Can I he beat him he up? he does well. He's just got uh, to pace himself a little more. But he's a strong, he's a strong fighter. You're always at the fights, you know, you love the fights. Caleb playing David Benavidez, what, how do you, what did you see in that fight? Uh, I feel like um, Caleb, Caleb was boxing in the first half of the round, but, uh, half of the fight, but, uh, you know, he was going to be able to keep that pace for 12 rounds, especially with uh, the mental pressure and the actual physical pressure that uh, Benavidez is putting on him. Right. So, um, I mean, Benavidez makes it the Mexican monster, so, I mean, I, I like to see him against Canelo. Well, who wins that one, though? Benavidez. Why? In my opinion. He, I, I just think he's too big. I mean, well, at first, when you seen him in the face off, it was like, Benavidez might not be too big for the game, but when he actually got in the ring, he was just like, oh, yeah. The stature of him, he just, he's just too big, and then Caleb was bigger than bigger than uh, Canelo. So, just imagine that. Right. Did Benavidez beat Caleb Plant? What do you think of the matchup? Uh, Everybody know uh, David, like I say, I had two fighters fight David and uh, uh, like Bonner Bell and uh, Ozzy Mazzola. Ozzy was the first one to go the distance with David, so I know it was a good fight, you know, so he's a killer. I mean, I actually saw him in action. I worked, like I said, I worked Ozzy Mack corner when he fought David. And he's a beast. Caleb Plant, he's a smooth, he's a smooth person. He, he can fight, but it's about endurance. That's what, what Caleb was, was lacking. Got you. Can he beat Canelo? See, Canelo a different beast. See, Canelo ain't gonna run. Canelo a, a stay there and bang with you. And it all depends on if Canelo hit him with that right shot or if David hit Canelo with that right shot. I'm not counting Canelo out because he do have head movement. He can be in and out. You know, them kind of fighters. That's the type of fighter that's gonna beat David Benavidez. Guy that not scared to uh, exchange with him, not scared to work with him, not scared to hit him. So I think I really think that uh, Canelo have a chance. I thought it was an excellent fight, man. Very entertaining. Caleb Plant did real good, but you know David Benavidez was stronger. He showed his game plan. A constant pressure was, you know, I didn't say it was too much for Caleb, but it wore Caleb down and they got him to fight. But Caleb, Caleb did real good, showed a lot of heart, and uh, to me, he got a lot of respect in the boxing world for that. What about him and Canelo? Which one? Uh, David and Canelo? David Benavides. Man, personally, I feel like Canelo will beat him. And the reason why I say that is because Canelo is stronger than Caleb, and Canelo is slick too. And Canelo is a fucking animal. Canelo don't mind getting hit. And Canelo, Canelo can pound. So I got uh, Canelo, but it's going to be a good-ass fight. I don't see a knockout. I see it going the distance. Caleb playing David Benavides put on a real good show. Um, what do you think of it? Um, it was a great fight. Um, I kind of expected that was going to happen. Um, plant, real good movement. Um, but you just can't move like that for 12 months. It's hard. Take a look. So Plant was really, really good at the beginning of the fight. I think after round, round four, I think he, he died down. And after that, it was all Benavides after that. 
Yes. What about Benavidez and Canelo, or would you like to see Benavidez and uh, Premier Boxing Champions fighting? I'd like to see Benavidez and Canelo. I mean, who else is at 68 for Benavidez to, to fight besides Canelo? I mean, there ain't, there ain't too many people uh, at 68 right now. I mean, Benavidez is a monster at 68. Ooh, would he beat Canelo? I don't think so. I don't think he'd be not, not, not this time in his career. I mean, just walking down Canelo ain't gonna be Canelo. Uh, okay. I feel as if that David Benavidez, he caught the momentum at the end of the later rounds. Mm -hmm. And with him being a bigger guy, that takes a toll on Caleb because he's not as big as David. Okay, gotcha. What about David's future? Where does he go from here? Canelo or PBC guys? I feel like a fight that we all want to see, I definitely want to see David versus Canelo. That, that, I'm ex I'll be really excited Who for that wins? fight. Who wins? Uh, whoever shows up. Uh, with Canelo, Canelo's a really strong guy, and then that'll be like, I don't know, man. Uh, I'll go with I'll go with David. I actually, I'll go with David because he's taller, he's stronger, and he's more hungry. Okay. Uh, David, Benavidez, Caleb playing. What did you think of that fight? Uh, played out how I thought it was going to play out. You know, uh, Benavidez, he a Mexican monster, like you say his name. He earned it. And uh, what's the name? Play, he always boxes really good and stuff, but a lot of his fights he slows down. And so basically this same thing happened in this fight. You know, he slowed down, boxed beautiful at first, but... Once the pressure got on, he kind of slowed down, and Benavidez, everyone know he's a monster. He's going to keep bringing the pressure, and that's what happened. Good shit. What do you think of uh, Benavidez's future? PBC guys like Charlo, is, is that more exciting of a route, or do you want to see the Canelo dog fight? Man, uh, I like to see him against anybody. He he going to be entertaining no matter who it is. You know, Charlo's a big name. Uh, shoot. He, he keep talking, but I like to see him at 60. He a big ass 60. Was a huge 54, so 68 would be no problem for him, I think, you know. But hopefully they come up and they can fight. But anybody against uh, Benavidez is going to be a good fight because do fights every fight, you know. It ain't somewhere you can like, oh, he's going to move and box a little bit too much. He's going to come and he's going to give you combinations like you ain't seen at 68. And he's going to be mean and try and get people better. Is so. Caleb playing David Benavides? Yeah, I did. I think, I think everyone in the box will watch that one, man. Look, it was a good fight, you know. I, I watched it as a boxing fan. I wasn't going from one fight or the other. You know, styles make fights. You know, Caleb playing moved around real well. Obviously, you know, he just starts getting caught, but you know, that pressure's, that pressure's immense from Benavides. So, like I said, at the end of the day, you know, the boxing fans won. Caleb playing, um, what about uh, Benavides and Canelo after this? It's a good fight. You know? like, it's, it's, it's hard to pick these fights. You know? I, I love Canelo. But like I said, you, it depends, depends on the night. You know? so, uh, yes, sir.